Greetings YouTube, it's 2091 Rivero Israel here, wanting to say a quick message before episode 13 starts. Now I know most of you just want to cut to the chase and watch episode 13, after having to wait 2 months for it, but that is what I wanted to talk to you about first. I wanted to thank every single one of you for your patience and keeping your faith in me, as it was a nightmare to make this episode, but thanks to you all, I never gave up. I kept going, and going, until we finally came to today. Episode 13 is now complete, not thanks to me, but thanks to all of you for keeping your faith up, and loving my series. So many obstacles came in my way during production of this episode, I lost two family members, my foot was severely injured, and life had been stressful, but I never gave up. And that is because of you all 916 of my subscribers who enjoy what I make on YouTube. I did this for you, and now that the two months are up and production is complete, you can now sit back and enjoy, I just hope that the two month wait was worth it, now prepare yourselves and enjoy episode 13, and one more thing, Happy New Year everyone! Previously on Loud House I can't believe that Lincoln is not a brother. I've never felt this way before. I never have. It's called anger, Lenny. You have a lot of anger in your heart, knowing that we have been lied to. It is a normal human emotion. It happens to all of us all the time. I don't believe it. I truly, truly can't believe that Linky is not my brother. For so many years I thought he was. Now that he is not I don't know how to feel right now. Wait a minute, maybe Lincoln not being our brother is a good thing but this is going to be amazing. Now I better give everyone else their clothes. Today will finally be the day that our Linky comes home to us. Hola, what gives? Why are you happy? You should be sad, angry and depressed like the rest of us. Oh, I'm happy because, if you think about it, maybe just maybe, Lincoln not being our blood, might just be a good thing. Lola how dare you? Why would you say things like that? I know you are the most brattiest amongst our family, but I didn't think you would stoop to this low. Okay I get it already. You're sad that Lincoln is not a part of us. I get it, grow some thicker skin, we compete, like any girl does for the ones they love. You look so cute. I look like I just walked out of 1975. Don't be stupid Luan, you look pretty. I am done, I am coming out. Well girls, what do you think? Wow, you look amazing Luna, Lincoln will be so delighted to see you in that. Ah, uh, do you really think so Lola? Oh, I know so. Thanks Lola. Oh my gosh. Lincoln is that really you? Are you okay? Where are you? Whoa whoa whoa, Lori slow down ha ha ha, I am just fine. Alright Lori, if you promise to meet me at the Roga City Park, I will come home, I just want to talk to you about something important. Guess who just called me not long ago? You, you spoke with Lincoln. I sure did Lynn, he is willing to talk to me at the Roga City Park tonight. Um, okay so he wants to meet us at the park, that is fine with me, what time should the ten of us go and get him? Um, Lynn I am sorry, but you girls are not coming, Lincoln only wishes to speak with me, and no one else, at least not yet. See, well I just hope that Lincoln makes the right choice and returns, I hope you know what you are doing, I'll keep quiet and pretend I never heard anything about Lincoln calling you, and I will just sit down in my room for a bit, I hope Lincoln comes home, hey Lori wait, before you go, I just wanted to know one thing, do you really think you will be able to convince Lincoln to come home? Right now Lynn, I am confident that he will come back, remember he is our Lincoln no matter what, now head back inside, if anyone asks, tell them I went out for a little drive okay. I will worry, good luck. And now, episode 13, Confrontation, of Faith. Okay, it is 7.43 p.m. 
It won't be long before Lori gets here. I just hope that Lori doesn't take what I say lightly, especially when it comes to what I said to Lana before. However, I worry about how Lori is going to take it when I tell her that the reason why I might run away is because of how too close my sisters are getting to me, Lana included. But so far I think it is best to just wait it out. Maybe Lana is right. Maybe I am panicking for nothing. Hey Lincoln, sorry I am late. My dad ended up getting stuck in a traffic jam along Rotor Street after a police pursuit led to a large crash on the intersection. Whoa, there was a crash on Rotor Street? There sure was. I mean I heard that it was so severe that it knocked some of the power out within Monterra Square. Man, you and your dad were sure lucky to make it out of that in one piece. Agreed. Anyway, did Lori arrive yet? Were you able to talk to her about how you truly feel about your sister's constant behavior? Not yet, Clyde. She hasn't arrived yet, but I'm sure she will be here soon. I sure hope you're right, Lincoln. Oh, don't worry. I get the feeling things might go well, as long as we maintain a civil discussion. Good to hear. Well now, what do we have here? It would look like that Lincoln Loud's so-called sisters, that so-called love him so much are not really his sisters after all. Which means for 12 years, they have been lying to Lincoln, ha ha ha, verbal proof. Once Lincoln finds out about this, he will pull the plug on the Loud sisters, once and for all. Best of all, I will never have to deal with those pesky Loud girls ever again. Lincoln will be all mine, ha ha ha. Let's see how Lori is going to explain this away. Ha, huh, what was that? That's funny, I could have sworn I heard something. Or someone in the bushes. I guess I am just going crazy. I sure hope Lori knows what she is doing. If she doesn't, all is lost. What is lost? What's going on, Lynn? Oh my god, I can't believe I said that out loud. What am I going to do now? Oh f, hi Lenny, how are you feeling? Are you getting any better? To be honest, Lynn, I am not. Injury-wise, yes, but my heart is still broken. Anyways, you said that something was lost? What do I do? What do I say? I promised Lori that I wouldn't tell anyone. But if I don't tell Lenny, she will never forgive me if something goes wrong with Lori's meeting with Lincoln. I have to think of something quick. Oh, of course, Lenny. Lost. You see, I am just lost still in emotions on figuring out the fact that Lincoln was not our brother. In fact, I am so lost that I feel nothing but pain and misery within me. Oh, my Lynn, you are just as hurt as we are. I know it is terrible. I still have the emotion that Lucy calls anger boiling within me, so I know what it is you are talking about. It really stings, Lenny. I know, Lynn, I know, but remember what Lori said. We cannot let anger get the better of us. All that matters is finding Lincoln. Of course, Lenny. Good, we will pull through this, Lynn. Oh, I have no doubts, Lenny. Glad to hear it. Um, where is Lori? Oh, I ran into her earlier. She told me she was going to take a drive. Oh? Well, okay. As long as she is all right. Lenny, you worry too much. She will be fine. She is just going to drive around to clear her head and she will be back before you know it. Yeah, you are right, Lynn. I guess I do have that problem. Just remember your own advice, Lenny. We will pull through this. Wow, that was close. I better keep quiet before someone else hears me. Hi, Lynn. How was the Roga City ballpark? Do I know you? It's Lola, Lynn. Jeez, how hard can it be for you girls to recognize me? I mean, come on, I am not in my dress every single day of my life, you know. Actually, Lola, you are in your dress every 24-7. Only rarely do you ever change your clothes. If it is not important, you are wearing your dress every day. You have thousands of those dresses made and are in your closet as we speak. You liar. I change clothes once in a while, even in our show. I am willing to wear a uniform, I also wear pajamas, and I am even willing to wear some of Lana's clothes once in a while. Ah, uh -huh, sure you do. You know what, I am not going to waste my time with you Lynn, I have a plan to accomplish, and I am not going to stand here arguing with you like a loser. Plan? What plan? I happen to have gotten clothes, for each and every one of us, I don't have to show you mine, because I am wearing them right now clothes? Oh, that sounds cool. Do you have any sports wear in there? Lynn, these clothes are not to mess around in. With filthy sports, they are for trying to win back Lincoln. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't care. Will you at least let me look? Christ. 
All right, let's see what's in here. Whoa, this outfit looks good. Hang on a second, uh. I will be right back. Let's do this. Wow, look at me. I swear Lincoln is going to drool once he sees me like this. I look like a warrior champion for any sport on this earth. Glenn, what on earth are you doing in the hallway? Would you hurry up? I need to give the rest of the clothes to the rest of the girls. Would you relax, Ella? There will be plenty of time to do your stupid plan. Give me my bag right now before I get really angry. G R R R R R R R R R R give it to me. All right, goddammit, don't get your blonde hair in a tangle. Jeez. I'm waiting. I'm coming already. I'm coming. What the heck are you looking at, Squirt? Lynn, what the heck are you wearing? It's called sports attire, you dumb blonde. It's a cheerleader's outfit. Hey, shut up. I am not a dumb blonde. Sure you are. Sometimes I think you are even dumber than Lenny. That's it. I've had enough of you, Lynn. Give me back my bag right now. You sure you want this? Yes, I am sure, you idiot. Now let me have it. All right, but only because you asked. Anything else you want to test me with, Lila? No? Good. I'm glad we had this little chat. I hate Lynn with a burning passion. Excellent. I made it all the way to Rodora Street. This is the main street that heads straight to Roga City Park. And all in a short time, too. <coughs> Nuts. It's Lori. She is moving a lot faster than I thought. I can't let her get to Lincoln first. I have to find a way to slow her down. Um, that street light looks weak. I think I know how to slow that menacing 18-year-old down. It's a little heavy, but nothing I can't handle. You'll never get me, copper. Ah, uh, nuts. Timber. For hell's sake, I can't believe I crashed. A goddamn riddle of all cars. Oh crap. I gotta get out of here. And where do you think you're going, you coward? What the hell is going on out there? What's with all the traffic? Whoa, what the hell happened over there? Looks like the police was chasing someone and some moron crashed into a street lamp. The whole road is blocked. Looks like I might be late to join Lincoln in his meeting with Lori, unless I walk the rest of the way. Dad, I am going to walk to Roga City Park. Thanks for the lift. Perfect. It's 7.26 now. I should be at Roga City Park in about 8 minutes, meaning I am just one step closer from wrapping my arms around him. For once, everything is working out. Nothing can possibly go wrong now.
What's going on? What's happening? It's 7.28. I promised Lincoln I would meet him in about 8 minutes. If I am late he will never forgive me. I now have about 6 to 7 minutes left. Whoa. What happened to the intersection? Rotor Street is completely trashed with destroyed cars everywhere. No wonder there is a large traffic jam here. Just how on earth could this even happen? I thought the traffic laws of Roga were supposed to be perfect. I guess they really are not. Excellent. My plan worked. The intersection is blocked. There is no way Lori can drive through there now. Things could not be going any better for me. Now to continue on to Roga City Park and tell Lincoln everything. Ha ha ha. What am I going to do now? It will be dark in about two minutes, and I now have seven minutes to get to Roga City Park. But with this large traffic jam, it could take hours. You know what? The hell with this. I didn't promise Lincoln I would see him just for a disaster to unfold from out of nowhere. I will see my Lincoln, even if I have to walk. Okay, it is 7.43 p.m. It won't be long before Lori gets here. I just hope that Lori doesn't take what I say lightly, especially when it comes to what I said to Lana before. However, I worry about how Lori is going to take it when I tell her that the reason why I might run away is because of how too close my sisters are getting to me, Lana included. But so far I think it is best to just wait it out. Maybe Lana is right. Maybe I am panicking for nothing. Hey Lincoln, sorry I am late. My dad ended up getting stuck in a traffic jam along Rotora Street after a police pursuit led to a large crash on the intersection. Whoa, there was a crash on Rotora Street? There sure was. I mean I heard that it was so severe, that it knocked some of the power out within Montera Square. Man, you and your dad were sure lucky to make it out of that in one piece. Agreed. Anyway, did Lori arrive yet? Were you able to talk to her about how you truly feel about your sister's constant behavior? Not yet, Clyde. She hasn't arrived yet, but I'm sure she will be here soon. I sure hope you're right, Lincoln. Oh, don't worry. I get the feeling things might go well, as long as we maintain a civil discussion. Good to hear. I just hope that Lori didn't get caught up in the traffic jam, though. I mean seriously, Lincoln. It was a disaster. Wow. It was really that bad? You have no idea. Golly, what on earth caused that crash to begin with? I mean, was it Roga City supposed to have perfect laws for motorists? Lincoln. I was only here in Roga for about two months, so I don't know that much about it, but I did read it online, and they say it has. But after today, I don't know about you, but I am starting to question their logic. My god, and I thought things were crazy in Royal Woods. I mean me and my sisters have been in this city since April 14th, 2020, and never have we heard of a disaster like this. However, I don't know why I am feeling this way, but something is not right about this whole thing. I mean if there was never any accidents prior, why was there one so sudden that came out of the blue? Do you really think that it was an accident that happened at Rotor Street Clyde? Or do you think that this was done on occasion? Well, I can easily answer that without question. I think it might have been on occasion, mainly due to the guy the police was chasing being the one responsible for the large collision that happened afterwards. Oh boy, things are truly getting scary. I don't know what is happening, but I am telling you Clyde. Things are really getting scary. Agreed. Hey Lincoln. Hey Clyde. Sorry I am late. Ronnie Ann, what are you doing here? I don't remember Lincoln saying that you had to come. Not that he or I have a problem with it of course. I come, bearing important information. Information that Lincoln needs to hear about ASAP. Information? What information? I am sorry Clyde, but I will only pass this over to Lincoln. But I will tell you this, it has something to do with his ten sisters. Whoa. Wait a second, what about my ten sisters? If it's about how uncomfortable they make Lincoln, then we already know about that information, Ronnie Ann. Oh no, Clyde, it has nothing to do with that. In fact, I fear that the information that I am about to provide to Lincoln may be a lot worse than what he thought before. What? What can be worse? Lincoln, I regret to inform you that your so-called ten sisters are not your sisters at all. 
In fact, they are not even your blood. I am sorry to say, Lincoln. They have been lying to you for the past 12 years. They are not your blood, and I am not saying this is a way to trash your sisters. I heard it myself. Seriously, Ronnie Ann, what the heck is wrong with you? I mean, yes, you have every right to be angry at my sisters because you are always bonking heads with them. But this, this is just cold. I agree. I mean, seriously, Ronnie Ann, even I wouldn't say such cruel things, especially if it was a family member. Look, Ronnie Ann, I'm sorry you have to compete all the time with Lincoln's sisters every time. Yes, that is frustrating and irritating, I get it, but saying this, and trying to turn Lincoln against his own family is not the answer either. In fact, it is known as a cowardly and pathetic move. Not to mention, I love my sisters, sure we could fall out, but what siblings don't, no one is perfect. Lincoln, listen to me. I know you don't want to believe that your whole family is not a part of you, but you have to trust me, it's true, I heard it with my own ears. They are lying to you, Lincoln. You need to do the right thing. Run. Get the hell away from these ten, because they will only end up hurting you in the end. You think they are acting inappropriate with you now, but now that you are not their brother, you have to run. There is no boundaries now. Think hard. Why are they fighting me? Please, Lincoln. You have to trust me. Those ten girls are dangerous. They are toxic, and they are not your blood. I can explain it myself. Oh, really? Do go on. Because this is ridiculous, Ronnie Ann. Yeah, Ronnie Ann, do continue. If what you are saying is indeed true, then explain from the start. I need to hear this. Very well. I will happily explain everything to you right here, right now. It all started at Wilson Avenue. I was on my way back home after helping my brother move some things into his new home in Ark Town, when suddenly, I realized that the town that my brother was moving in was right next door to Encore Boulevard. Your neighborhood Lincoln, I was excited at first seeing that once my brother took a permanent residence here in Roga, I would be able to see you more, even if it meant dealing with your sisters. So I decided to try and find you in order to tell you about it, as I remembered you were not at your house, so I went looking around your street, and that is when I saw it. I saw Lori moving fast along the road in her Kodia, Accord, and pulling up to her house in a hurry. I got surprised at this, so I decided to investigate. When I reached your house, I decided to poke around to see what was going on, as I could hear talking coming from inside, and your name constantly being brought up. Then that's when it happened, I heard voices coming out of Lori's room, so I moved over to her window in order to find out what was going on, and that is when I heard it. From beyond the other side of the window, stood Lori, she looked furious, in fact I have never seen her this angry before. She was holding something in her arms, a paper of some sort. I tried to get a clear look, but her back was turned from the window, so I couldn't get a clear view at first. But what I saw next was even more terrifying. It looked like Laurie was waiting for someone to come into her room, but the person who I saw come in was Lenny. She looked like crap. She was coated in cuts, scratches, and stitches. To make matters worse, Lincoln, she looked like she went through hell. It's about time you got here, you moron. She snapped, which made my heart drop. Sorry, Lori. I have had quite a day today, and... Oh, shut up, you idiot. I have no interest in your excuses. Now shut up and listen carefully. Lincoln called me. He wants to meet me alone at the Roga City Park. Do you think he knows Lori? He won't, Lenny. He is too stupid to know when someone is lying. He will never know that for the past 12 years, he was never our brother. In fact, he is not even a part of this family. And he is so dumb not to see the difference. You know it's funny, people call me dumb and stupid, but Lincoln is proving to be more and more of a dumbie than I am. Every one of us knows he's not a blood. Exactly. And we all know that his real name is not Lincoln Loud. He was never allowed. He was a lord. Lincoln Lord is his real name. I heard every word that those two said Lincoln, and each time I did, the more angrier I was getting. Lori stated out of her own mouth that you were not blood, you're not allowed. A part of me wanted to literally break the window and attack her, but I restrained my anger, and instead tried to focus on the paper in her hand, and that is when it was revealed. Lori placed the mysterious paper on top of her bed. Before leaving the room with Lenny for a bit, they didn't see me, so I took a peek, in order to figure out what it was. What I saw made my heart break, on Lori's bed were adoption, governmental papers, 
with your name on it, it had everything your birthday, biological parents, your name, everything. This was not a fake document either Lincoln because all of it was signed by Lynn Loud Sr. and Rita Loud, and your real parents' names was William and Maria Lord, and you were adopted on March 30, 2009, about five days after your birth. I could do nothing but just stand there, I could feel tears coming out of my eyes, I felt so bad for you, but my thoughts were interrupted when I saw Lori return with the others. I remained silent in order to not give away my position, but judging on how all of your so-called sisters were in the room this was no doubt an emergency meeting, I listened close. Well girls, today's the day, our so-called brother has finally decided to come crawling back to us. He expects me to see him alone which is not going to happen. I knew that moron wouldn't last out there, and it looks like my prediction was correct. Looks like the dork is coming back after all, you know we could always ignore him and pretend he doesn't exist. Things are going as planned, as long as we keep our mouths shut, Lincoln will continue to think that he is one of us. Alright girls, here is the plan, Lincoln wishes to test my trust, and so I will go and see him. Pretend to show pity then bring him back with you girls waiting in the car. Sounds easy right? He will think I am coming alone when in fact you girls will be right there as well. Only not in the park, but waiting in the car. This will be so much fun. I can't wait to see Lincoln's reaction when he finds out that we plan to teach him a lesson about running off on us. Oh yes, is he is going to get it. Once we get our hands on him, he's going to wish he would have stayed hidden. Indeed, and the time will come. Now we must go, we will head to Roga City Park, and finally end this, once and for all, let's go. Not long after hearing that conversation, I raced away from the window and ducked behind the bushes, I made it just in time to see Lori and the others leave for Roga City Park. It was at this point that I knew what to do, I had to reach you before they did, so I ran out of the bushes and made my way here, and thought the whole story, that's what I heard Lincoln, I'm so sorry Lincoln. So. That is what they really think of me, that I am nothing to them, and that I am not their real brother, and that Lori plans to backstab me once she gets here. Yes Lincoln, I'm afraid so, you now, know their true colors now, they never loved you Lincoln, you're nothing to them. My god, I can't believe it, and to think that I actually had a crush on Lori Loud, I never knew or thought she would be this cold and evil. Trust me Clyde, you don't know the half of it, these ten. Girls are psychopaths, you should see what I got to put up with every day ever since my brother and I arrived in Roga. Lincoln, you now know your so-called sister's true feelings for you, now it rests on you, all I have to say Lincoln, is run. Run away Lincoln, and escape, while you still can. I'm sorry Lincoln, but if what Ronnie Ann is saying is the truth, then she is right. You need to get the hell away from the loud girls, I suggest you run away right now, and never return to them. I can't believe it. I just seriously can't believe it. Now it all makes sense. My sister's getting closer to me, flirting with me on occasions, and even sharing a room with me. Now I know why they have been acting like that. It is because we are not siblings after all. Yeah, I'm so sorry Lincoln. It's fine Clyde. You had no idea of anything until now. I don't feel good. I don't know what to do now. Lincoln you only have one option. You have to leave. Lori will be here at any time with the rest of them so you need to get going while you still can. Please Lincoln, you have to leave now, if Lori comes and you are still here, then it is over for you. Now wait a second Ronnie Ann, at first I agreed with you there, but we only know your side of the story we don't have Lori's yet. Clyde, what the hell, I thought you were on my side with this, I already told you everything what happened, now Lincoln needs to bowl from here before she arrives. Indeed, we did hear your side of the story. But now it is Lori's turn to tell hers, fair is fair, if Lincoln were to run without hearing Lori's side, then he will be just as cold. There is nothing for her to say Clyde, she will only lie to Lincoln, try to manipulate him into coming with them, she will not tell him the truth. There are always two sides to a story, and it is best to hear both sides before drawing any conclusions, I figured a girl like you would get that logic Ronnie Ann. Oh my god, this is bad, if Lori tells her side of the story. Both Clyde and Lincoln will find out I lied about the whole thing, I have to come up with something quick. Look Clyde, I'm telling you the truth, as Lincoln's best friend I thought you would understand about the trauma the poor kid has gone through during his show. 
Think about it, Clyde. Do you really want to send Lincoln back to those ten after all the torment that they have given him, since the Loud House show? Or free him from them? You know what I say to that Ronnie Ann, I say you let Lincoln decide for himself, as his best friend I will not make the decision for him, this is solely up to him. Clyde, Imaron, you're only going to doom our friend by having him stay here. No, Clyde is right, I won't run away. If what you are saying is true Ronnie Ann, then I want Lori to say it directly to my face. If what you are saying is true, then Lori will have no issue bragging about it to my face. Only then, I will abandon them. But right now I want to face this. I'm done running from these ten. As of tonight, I will face them, myself. Lincoln, I'm telling you, you're making a big mistake confronting Lori. Please, just listen to me and get out of here. I am literally begging you. Well, you can believe what you want, Ronnie Ann. But I am going to remain here, and support Lincoln, and I say he is doing the right thing by finally standing up to his ten sisters. Oh no, the jig is up, I am now trapped, Lincoln is going to find out I made the whole thing up. I have to get out of here now. Um guys, I hate to break it to you, but I think I heard my brother call, I think I should go now. Now wait a second, I never heard anything. What on earth are you talking about, Ronnie Ann? I didn't make that up, I heard him. You must have missed it while you were talking, Clyde. I didn't hear anything. I have no idea what you are saying. But why would you want to leave? Wouldn't you want to stay in order to try and support me? Yeah, what is the deal, Ronnie Ann? Why do you want to leave all of a sudden? If you are telling the truth, then you have nothing to hide from Ray. Lincoln has a point, Ronnie Ann. If you are true to your word, then why are you, all of a sudden wanting to leave? I mean, you just got here for crying out loud. It's none of your concern. Right now I have to. Lincoln? Are you here? I'm so sorry I am late. There was a crash on Rotor Street. Oh my god, Lincoln she is here. It's still not too late to run. Lincoln, no. Let him go Ronnie and this is between them. It's for the best. Oh god. It's over, Lincoln is going to find out, that I lied about everything, I can't let him talk to Laurie. Hey Ronnie Ann, what on earth are you doing? Sorry Lincoln, this is for your own good, I won't let your crazy sisters have you, ever. Ronnie Ann, what in the hell do you think you're doing? Lincoln. Look out. Lincoln? Honey, where are you? Lincoln. Lincoln. Lincoln, are you okay? Lincoln, please answer me. Lincoln. Ronnie Ann. Have you lost your goddamn mind or something? Why the hell did you throw that giant rock at Lincoln for? I did it, so that I can prevent Lincoln from talking to Lori. I will never let them take him. You idiot. Don't you realize how heavy and hard that rock was? Lincoln's head could be smashed in for all I know. If that is the case then so be it. I'd rather him be in the grave than with those ten psychopaths. You've lost it, girl. I don't care. I've put up with those ten loud twits for too goddamn long. If I can't have Lincoln, those ten cunts can't either. Lori heads up. Hey, you. Get out your hands off my boyfriend, you loud crat. Ronnie Ann? What are you doing here? Wait, what are you doing? Ouch. Ronnie Ann, what are you doing? Stop. At last, victory is mine, Lincoln is mine forever, and you ten will never see him again once I take him. Ha ha ha, finally after so many years of your torment, he is at last free. I have waited for years to pummel you to the ground, Lori. And you don't know how good that felt. For years, I've put up with the ten of you idiots. Every time I tried to establish a relationship with Lincoln, you ten jackasses always barred me from him. Well, no longer. You ten never gave two flying craps about him, especially you, Laurie. 
When you chose my brother over him, you will never have him again because of your actions. And now gear up, because Lincoln is not putting up with your crap anymore. Just face it Laurie, you don't care, you think he is a stupid moron, a dork, a waste of space, a piece of crap. Ronnie Ann, you've got to stop this, you're going completely insane. Too late Clyde, I'm going to be taking my boyfriend now. Oh and here is one little secret to you Laurie, I heard everything that you said about Lincoln not being your brother. What? How did you? I heard everything, along with witnessing your little tantrum in the secret room, at your house that time. You really should learn to keep a better watch on your front yard loser. What did you do? Oh, nothing much. I just had a small heart-to-heart -heart talk with Lincoln, telling him everything that you said, but with a small twist. You what? What the hell did you tell him? Like I would ever tell you, ha ha ha. Lori, Ronnie Ann told us that you were planning on backstabbing Lincoln, and that you never cared about him, and that once you picked him up you would make him pay dearly. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Clyde the Tattletale? No, that is not true. Clyde the ten of us have been looking for Lincoln all over Roga for about two and a half weeks. We were worried sick. When Lincoln called me, I was so happy that I promised him I would be here. But then the crash on Rotor occurred. But I didn't let that stop me. I ditched my car and walked here. Wait, so the other nine girls are not with you? No Clyde, they are at home. Are you serious Ronnie Ann? You just lied to both Lincoln and myself. I swear when Lincoln wakes up he will hear this, and I hope he pulls the plug on you, you psycho. Yeah, like he is going to know, you pathetic excuse for a friend of his. Clyde. If you won't protect him then I will. Oh, and one more thing Lori before I bounce, I was the one who threw the rock at Lincoln. You monster. Yeah, that's right and I will do it again. And if you do anything to me, you can say, bye-bye, to my brother he will cut ties with you, within the blink of an eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I am going to go and take my boyfriend, tell your sisters that it is over. And that Lincoln has chosen me and not you ten freaks of nature. Hey Lori, check out the cool mountains over there. Don't they look awesome? They sure do Lincoln. They are beautiful. You know what? I think I want to capture this moment. Wait here. Sure Lori. I have to say Rita, it sure is a wonderful day today. I am very glad to see that Lori is once again wanting to spend time alone with Lincoln, as usual. Though, she also has to remember that Lincoln has about eight other sisters that want to play and love him too. Yes indeed, it is adorable, but Lori has to remember that she is not the only one who gets to have Lincoln as a brother, there are eight other sisters of hers who want an equal chance to have fun with Lincoln, but she always stops it. Exactly, but, I fear that we may need to one day tell her the truth, I mean Lincoln as well, you know. I wish we could hunt, but that is the one thing we cannot do. It will destroy not just Lori, but the rest of our daughters as well. We need to make sure that they never learn of this, because if they do, it will probably be catastrophic for our entire family. I am sure you agree. Oh, I agree, but I just feel that if we don't tell them, and they find out on their own, they might never forgive us. Most of the responsibilities are left on Lori Hun. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Good point. Besides in the wake of an emergency, we can always vanish without a trace. Ha ha ha. Exactly. Mom, Dad, can I use the camera? I want to take a picture of me and Lincoln with the Mortora Mountains in the background. Sure Lori, we don't see any problem with it. But your mother and I think that it is high time that you start using something a little more newer than this old thing. Your father is right Lori, I believe that you at 15, will be happy enough to know that your father and I purchased your first ever cell phone. Wow, that looks so cool. You can do anything nowadays with a cell phone, look at email, text others, watch videos on YouTube, whatever, and your mother and I thought that now is the time where you can at last keep your cell phone. Wow, mom and dad, this thing looks amazing, I can't wait to show Lincoln. Be careful with it, 
touch screens are very expensive and delicate nowadays. Not to mention they're advanced, ha ha ha. I'm sure you will have no problems with your first phone Laurie. Don't you worry daddy, you can count on me. Excellent, that's my girl. Now run along now. Yay, I can't wait to show Lincoln. Have fun Lori. I have to say Rita, your plan on getting Lori's cell phone was a brilliant idea. Now that she will get involved with social media, it won't be long before she gets obsessed like every other teenager. This will definitely keep her distracted from the truth. Indeed, social media will get Lori completely obsessed. She might not even remember Lincoln's name after that ha ha ha. Perfect. I swear, this day just keeps getting better and better. I wonder what we will do later on today. Lincoln, Lincoln, I'm back. Welcome back, Lori. Did you get the camera? Oh, I got something better than that. Take a look, Lincoln. Whoa, cool, what is it? It's called a smartphone, my little Lincoln. It can do many things, including watch videos on YouTube, take pictures, and even go on social media. Whoa, that is so awesome. It is. Hang on. I am going to put the phone down on that stub. And when I say point I want you to point at the mountains. I will be right behind you. No problem Lori. Okay Lincoln, the camera app is set up. Point at the mountain range. I am racing right back to you. Sure thing Lori. Alright here I come. Keep your pose. And get ready. Alright Lincoln ready. Cheese. Nice. I can't wait to see how it comes out. Me too. Hang on while I get the phone. Then we both can see. I have to say. That phone looks kinda cool. I hope to one of these days, get something similar to that myself. Okay, Lincoln I'm back. Come close to me and let's see how it came out. Oh boy, I can't wait. Let's see it. Alright, let's see how it went. Oh my god, look at us. We look so adorable together Lincoln. I swear I will cherish this greatly. Awesome, it looks cool. It's amazing. I didn't think any cell phone in the history of mobile phones could ever do that. Oh, my little Lincoln, you can be such a doll sometimes. Wow Lori, your hands sure feel good. That is quite a good touch you have. When you are passionate ha ha ha. Thanks Lincoln. So what do you want to do now? I'm not really sure, but I was thinking that we can walk around the forest region for a little bit, before it would be time for us to go home. Sure Lincoln, great idea. Come on let's look around and see what we can find out. Lori, what's wrong you alright? Lori, Lori what's going on? What on earth are you staring at? Hello? Um um, excuse me Lincoln. Hey wait, I thought we were going to walk around the park together. Lori, oh boy, I wonder who that is. I better go see for myself. I know mother, things here at Hanau's park are beautiful. You were right about everything especially the mountain range. It is such a sight to behold. Oh yes, I will definitely tell Ronnie and everything when I get back. Okay I love you too, bye bye now. Wow, what a beautiful region this is. Um, hello there. Sorry, I guess that came out a little awkward. Oh hello, nice to meet you. What brings you here to Hannah's Park? Well, I am here with my little brother Lincoln. I decided to walk around for a bit, until I saw you. Whoa, that is cool. You have a younger sibling too, that is amazing, I have one as well, my name is Bobby, Bobby Santiago. Wow, hello booby, um, I mean booty, no I mean. Um, I think you were meaning to say Bobby. Yes, of course, that is what I meant to hey, I mean say. Oh, well I'm glad to know, anyway I told you my name, what is yours? Lori, Lori, ah, there you are, jeez you had me worried sick, oh, hello. Who are you? Lincoln, what are you doing here? Well you ran off, so I thought I would follow. Plus, don't you want to hang around together like we agreed not long ago? Lincoln, I don't have time right now. Can't you see I am trying to have a conversation with someone here? But Lori, you said you wanted to do this. You had plenty of time not even two minutes ago. Oh, you have something to do with your little brother? I guess I better go. See you around, Lori which I guess is your name seeing how he called you by it. But... It's not a problem, it's getting late for me anyway. I better get home before my parents freak out. See you around Lori. Wait, just who exactly are you? Lincoln, shut up. Yo, what the heck? What did I do? I said shut up. Now get your butt moving before I turn you into a human pretzel. We are going home right now. Okay, okay. 
I'm going. I have to say, Carol, this phone that mom and dad got me is the best thing that has ever happened to me and for like, ever. You don't know how many followers I managed to receive on social media in about five days alone. Hey Lori. Carol, could you give me a second please? I'm putting you on mute, for crying out loud. What the heck do you want this time, Lincoln? Can't you see I'm on the phone with my friend here? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You've been on the phone for five days straight. You hardly ever go out or play with me anymore. Plus I narrowly almost got hurt outside. And there was no one to help me. Oh wah. So you got a small bruise. Get over it. It's life we all get hurt eventually. I can't be there all the time to hold your hand. Start toughing up for once. Now get lost. I have a friend to speak to you. But Lori. Go. What an annoying kid. Anyway sorry about that Carol. Yeah, it was just Lincoln again. Yeah, I know he is the most annoying brat ever. I will never understand how I have him as a brother. I can't believe it. Lori has changed. It's like she flat out hates me now. Ever since she met that boy, and mom and dad gave her that cell phone, it's like she has become a completely different person. Lincoln? Oh good there you are. Thank goodness. What are you doing all the way out here? Hi Lini. But I am afraid you can't be here, or around me. You know Lori's rules, if she catches me talking to you she will be very angry. Lincoln, I don't care about that, I've never seen you so sad before, you are always happy and cheerful, please, I know Lori forces you to rely on only her, but I am your sister too, and I just want to know what is wrong, please Lincoln just tell me. Well, if you really want to know Lini, Lori has changed, ever since she met some boy in the forest. And ever since she first got her cell phone, she acts like I don't exist anymore. Aw oh, Lincoln, it will be okay. Lori loves you dearly just like we do. I'm sure of it. No she doesn't, she hates me. No she doesn't Lincoln. She's just so into her phone and social media now that, she currently thinks that it is one of the most amazing things ever, just like I have a love for fashion, and to be honest, Holding you in my arms is the best thing I have ever done, as I never got to do this before. Lori wouldn't let me. Yeah, maybe you're right Lini. I guess Lori is just going through what big kids go through, though that doesn't give her the right to be mean and pretend that I don't exist. I know Lincoln, I know, but don't let that get you down, she is still the same girl regardless. Yeah you are right, maybe I should just try to get over this, maybe Lori getting hooked on a phone won't be so bad. Wow Lini. Your hand is really touching, and you are warmer than Lori ever was. I must say I am very impressed. Aw, thank you Lincoln, you are so sweet. Not a problem. Lenny, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh hi Lori, I thought you were on the phone with your friend Carol. And Lincoln was sad so I thought I'd cheer him up a bit. Yeah, yeah, whatever Lenny. I really could and careless at the moment. In the meantime I am going to go and hang out with my friends now. Lincoln you know the way back home. But Lori, don't you think, the two of us should both escort Lincoln home? He is not a toddler Lenny. He will survive. Aw oh, man. Don't worry Lincoln, I'll take you back home. Come on let's go. Sure thing Lenny. Wow, one month has passed since Lori got her phone, and she hasn't changed at all. I guess I'm just going to have to accept the fact. Lori is lost forever. Hey dork, is everything okay? Are you okay bud? I have never seen you like this before. Hey Lynn, how's it going? And no, I am not feeling so good. Things have not been the same since last month. Oh don't worry about Lori, trust me you get used to it. That is what I had to put up with since you were born. I could never hang with you or do anything because she always prevented me. I know, but it still hurts. Don't worry Lincoln, you will pull through, I just know you. I have to say Bobby, watching that movie was incredible. We should do this again tomorrow. Indeed. Lori, is that you? What are you doing with this guy? You told mom and dad that you were at the mall with your friends. For the last time kid, I have a name. It's Bobby Santiago. I've told it to you for over a month now. Do yourself a favor and lock it in. Please, it is really getting irritating when I always have to remind you about it all the time. You tell him, Boo Boo Bear. Hey you jerk, don't you dare talk to my brother like that. Not to mention you're lying, 
You never once told me your name, all you do is mess around with my sister. Not another word. I can speak my mind, Laurie. You have become a real jerk ever since mom and dad gave you that stupid phone, and ever since you met Robbie here. For the last time, you idiot, it is Bobby. Get it, right? Whatever. Lincoln, you are being irrational. Cut this crap out right now. I'm being the irrational one, Lori. You stop talking to me. You pretend I don't exist. You don't seem to care at all if anything happens to me. And I'm the irrational one. If you want to see irrational Lori, look in a mirror. I can assure you, you will see it very well. Lincoln, it's called growing up. You need to accept the fact that Lori is becoming a woman now. She is not going to be in your space forever, you know. If you can't accept that, then you really are irrational. I mean, listen to yourself. You can't even get my name right. You sound more pathetic than ever. That's not fair. All I want is to spend time with Lori once in a while. What is wrong with that? Besides, I am sure if Lori had a choice between either protecting me and hanging out with you, I just know that she would choose me any day. You tell him, bud. For the last stinking time, Lincoln, I told you a month ago, I cannot be there to hold your stinking hand forever. And as for me choosing sides, I think we all know the answer that one is going to be. You are tough enough to deal with things on your own, Lincoln. Now quit bothering us already. Come on, Bobby, let's get out of here. I thought you would never ask. Lori, you are a real piece of crap. Watch your words, Lynn. Unless you want Mom and Dad to find out that you swore in public. So let me get this straight, Lori. You would be willing to let me die if something were to happen? Let's put it this way. If I had a choice between saving you and my friend Bobby Santiago here, I would choose Bobby in an instant. No thoughts required. Now get lost, you shrimp. Come on, boo-boo bear. Fine. As of today, you are no longer my sister. You pathetic waste of oxygen. Don't care. Now shut up. Lincoln, wait. Lincoln, leave me alone. I don't want to be in this family. Let's put it this way. If I had a choice between saving you and my friend Bobby Santiago here, I would choose Bobby in an instant. No thoughts required. No get lost. Leave me alone. I don't want to be in this family. Don't worry, Lincoln. It is all over now. You are all mine now. No. You'll never take him from me. Well, well, look who's throwing a tantrum now. You are pathetic. You really think Lincoln is going to come home to you now, after all you have done to him in the past, how you chose my brother over him. Shut up. You really are a psycho, Lori. Do you really think getting rid of me will erase anything that you've done in the past? Because it won't. You're right. I can't get rid of the past, but I'm not going to ever make that same mistake again. I didn't change and go through help just to lose my Lincoln to you. Lori, don't. Stay out of this, Clyde. This does not concern you. This is between girls. This does concern me, Lori, because Lincoln is my best friend. Listen, Lori, I know you are angry. You have every right to be especially after all that Ronnie Ann has done. But you have to think about what you are doing. Attacking Ronnie Ann isn't going to make Lincoln come back to you. It's only going to scare him away. Do you really want that to happen, Lori? What would Lincoln say if he was awake right now and saw what you were doing to Ronnie Ann? What would he think of you then? You attack her, Lori, and Ronnie Ann wins. You gave her what she wanted, and you lose Lincoln forever. But if you were to walk away and explain to Lincoln your side of the story. Then you win. Lincoln will reconsider and pull the plug on Ronnie Ann and return home to you. The time has come, Lori. If you really got help, it is time to prove it. Prove it to Lincoln. Now is your chance to stand up and destroy your anger, once and for all. Show Lincoln that you truly care. Show him that you really regretted what you said to him back in 2018, and that our show was, was one of the roads to you changing your ways, before Lincoln destroyed your phone. Lincoln. That's right, Lori. Go, and remember you're always free as a bird. Your siblings are yours. You're right. I won't stoop to Ronnie Ann's level, or my mom and dad's. 
my Lincoln needs me, and I am taking him to a hospital right now. He is worth more to me than revenge. You'll pay for this loud. When I get home my brother will toss your ass out of his life forever. Well, I never thought I would find Lincoln here in a hospital bed. The poor kid is banged up pretty badly. Is he going to be okay? Well, Miss Loud, I really hate to say it. It's hard to say right now. Poor Lincoln here suffered a really bad head injury. He is lucky enough to still be alive after that. I knew the injury was severe. God damn, how heavy was that stupid 1640 rock anyway? They are very lethal when thrown at someone. Let's just say that they can cause severe damage to any human who gets hit by them. Holy crap, just when I didn't think that it could have been worse enough already. Please Dr. Armstrong, is there anything that will fix him? Please, I can't lose my little Linky. Right now Miss Loud, the only suggestion that I can say is that Lincoln will need plenty of rest in order for his head injury to heal properly. From then on and you could- Lincoln, Dr. Hawkins. What happened? I came as soon as I heard. Lana, you are not supposed to be out of the quarantine zone. You are still a risk of infecting others with radiation poisoning. I don't care, Mr. Hawkins, and I am sorry I have to sound cold, but my brother is hurt and I am going to be here for him, just like he was for me when I was in the quarantine zone. I understand completely. I guess we can make one exception for now. Thank you. I love you so much right now, Doc. No problem, but right now Lincoln needs rest. He suffered from a massive head injury. I understand. Good. In the meantime, I will leave the room and check up on the condition of the boy. Hopefully, I will have a determination when I return. Sure, Doc. Lincoln. I'm sorry, Lana, but it came unexpected. We got your adopted brother here as soon as we could. Wait, what? What do you mean, adopted brother? Don't you mean just brother in general? Lana Hum, I'm sorry to say, but Lincoln is not your brother. He never was. He is adopted. Mom and Dad lied to every single one of us. I just found out this afternoon. Didn't Lola tell you? No. No, she did not. She didn't say crap to me about this. You know, it's bad enough for her to trick me into jumping into a pile of radioactive meta's petty revenge. But knowing a dark truth about Lincoln, my Lincoln, not even being a part of me of any way, is a whole new low. I swear I would better pray I stay in this hospital because if I don't she is dead meat. Whoa, I have never seen Lana this angry before. Lana, calm down. You're angry like all of us are, at the fact that Lincoln is not a part of our family. But getting angry isn't going to help. It's going to make all those who wronged us win. Lola was just as sad and hurt when she found out, as you were Lana, she probably was so hurt that she didn't want you to know. Don't make the same mistake that I did, where you let your anger consume you to the point that you are not who you are. I became that way when I met Bobby and received my first phone, but now I no longer want to ever be that Lori. All I did was push everyone away, while destroying myself in the process. Ronnie Ann was responsible for Lincoln's injury. She literally tossed a huge rock at him just to stop him from talking to me. I almost killed her in my anger Lana, but I chose not to. Lincoln wouldn't have wanted that, and I instead followed both Clyde and Sponge524's advice instead, and went to care for Lincoln. Yeah, it's tragic, it really is Lana. You girls drove Ronnie Ann to insanity, but now I fear it may be beyond her control now. Lincoln is going to have to stand clear of Ronnie Ann permanently now, otherwise she can turn him against the ten of you, which he tried to do in the park. Fortunately I had a few doubts, and wanted to hear Lori's side of the story. Wait, Ronnie Ann was responsible for hurting Lincoln? Correct. I'm going to kill her, I swear. I'm going to kill her. Lana. What did I just say? Besides you don't have to do anything to Ronnie Ann. She already got her just desserts from me back in the park. Crap, she is lucky, because if I were to get my hands on her. That's enough Lana. Look, right now all that matters is making sure Lincoln is alright. You can get angry at Ronnie Ann so me other time. But just remember this Lana. 
Revenge is never the answer. Keep that in mind. Fine. Ugh, my head. What happened? Lincoln, I'm so happy you're all right. Oh, Linky, you had me scared to death. I thought I lost you. Lin, is that you? I can barely see. Yes, Linky, it is me. Glad to see that the hospital is allowing you to roam around the hospital for once. And Laurie, please, I need you to be straight with me. Am I really not your brother? And were you really planning on betraying me? Ronnie Ann told me everything, but I want to know from you. Do I really mean nothing to you, Tin? All for you to lie to me for several years? Lincoln. What Ronnie Ann told you was a lie. I never planned on betraying you. When you called me hours earlier, I was so happy to hear from you. You had the ten of us scared for two and a half weeks. We looked for you non-stop, and the more we couldn't find you, the more broken and sad we were becoming. I even suffered in college while you were gone. I even went as far as to attacking Lenny, because I was so stressed out on trying to find you that I took all my anger on Lenny to the point that she is in bandages now, but I didn't let that stop me. Attacking Lenny and losing you made me realize what I was becoming. So I went to find help, and I got some from Sponge, a noble man who helped me through this. Lincoln, blood-related or not, I love you. I am so sorry about everything. Mom and Dad got me addicted to phones, and I was so stupid to fall for it back in 2018. But I am not willing to let them control me through that anymore. Lincoln, will you be willing to give me another chance? Lori, you have no idea how long I have wanted to hear those words come out of your mouth. I am willing to give you another chance. If you explain to me what really happened and how you found out that I was not a part of this family. Does. Does this mean you are? Yes, I am coming home. Oh, Lincoln, thank you. This is just so damn beautiful. All right, Lincoln. You want to know what really happened and how we found out about you not being our brother. It went like this. I need to know where Lenny found our old family album. The spot where she found it may have the answer to all of my questions. It may also reveal to us on why mom and dad truly vanished that night. Um, that feels good. Thank you, Mr. Ceiling. Ha ha. And she says she doesn't talk to walls. Lenny, wake up. This is not Mr. Ceiling. This is your older sister, Lori Loud. Um, what? Oh, hi, Lori. What's going on? Hey, Lenny. Sorry if I had to wake you, but there is something I really need to know. Sure, what is it? I need to know. Where did you find our old family album? Oh, well, Lori, if you want to know, I think I found this old album, in a big box thingy, that was located in a larger box with a door in furniture. The box thingy that you are talking about Lenny is called a crate, and the larger box thing is a room Lenny. Thank you. Now get some sleep sis. Lori, is everything okay? Why would you want to ask me where I found our old family album? I mean I know you miss mom and dad, I do too. But why now after several months? I promise you Lenny I will explain everything once I find out why mom and dad vanished. And to answer your question Lenny, in case you forgot, I didn't know we still had our family album as I thought mom and dad took everything. That is why I haven't asked earlier. Oh that's right, how could I forget? Don't worry Lenny, it's fine. Just please go and lie down, and rest up. Just a few more days and you will be free of those bandages. I guess so. That's my Lenny. Now go on. Get to bed. Very good. Have a good rest Lenny. I will. Thank you Lori. I hope you find what you are looking for. Lenny found the family album in a big crate inside of a room. My house has lots of rooms, so it could be anywhere. That's funny. I never saw this room here before. Wow! I have never seen this room before. Even when I bought this house, after mom and dad disappeared I didn't even know this room existed. How many rooms are in this house? A big box thingy, that must be the crate, that money got the album. I found the room where she found our family album. Which means that there may be clues on what happened last year. Let's look around. 
Wow, I am amazed. There are a lot of things from when we were kids in here. There is Luna's old drum when she was six. It was from this very drum. On what got her into music. My purse from when I was 13. Oh does that bank bring so many memories. I am so happy it was saved. I didn't even know I still had it. I thought it was lost. Lincoln's box full of old toys from when he was seven. This is amazing. I didn't think he kept them. I don't understand. How did all of this old stuff end up here in our new house? After we left Royal Woods, did someone send them here without my knowledge? I'm going to look on this side now. Maybe there are some more clues around the other side of the room. Whoa, there is a lot more memories in this room than I thought. How much stuff was brought in this house? Now what is this? This book looks familiar. Oh my gosh. These are all birth certificates and papers for every single one of us. Starting with me, and ending with Lily. Wait, something's not right. Where's Lincoln's name? Why isn't he anywhere in the collection of birth certificates? It has all of us girls. But where is Lincoln? I don't understand. Lincoln should be in here with the rest of us. And not only that, his name should be printed right under Lynn's as he is two years younger than her. Instead, it just skips over Lincoln straight to Lucy. Which is not right. Lincoln was born before Lucy. Therefore his name should be after Lynn. Not like this. I don't get it. Why wouldn't mom and dad put Lincoln's birth certificate inside the family files? Yet they put every single one of ours in it. But there is one thing. Why would they leave this with me? I didn't give birth to my siblings. I know I am raising them but give me a break. This just doesn't make sense. What's this? I never saw this paper before. Are you kidding me? You're telling me that my Linky is not my Linky at all, and that for 12 damn years I have been lied to, and that Lincoln Loud was never really my little brother. Mom and Dad freaking lied to me. They lied to all of us. And they didn't even care to tell the ten of us about Lincoln. No. Instead they just ran away like the cowards they are. Now I really regret my actions during our show, instead of just being honest with all of us. They chose to run, and leave me to pick up the pieces and take the fall. No wonder Lincoln has been giving me a hard time in the past. He must have known about this, and figured that I knew, and that I didn't even care. As of today, Lynn Sr. Loud and Reed Loud are dead to me. I wish they were never my parents. For lying to me, now it all makes sense, why his name is not with the rest of ours in the family files. Because he is not a part of this family and is not our blood. Just, calm down Lori, calm down. Remember what Sponge said, anger is not going to make things any better. Lori, what's going on? I heard screaming. Oh my gosh, Lori, what happened to you? You're all red, Lori. What the heck's happened? What is this? No. I don't believe this one bit. Linky is a part of us. Not a stranger. Lenny it's the truth. Mom and Dad lied to us. Lincoln was never our brother. In fact I wouldn't be surprised if they lied about his birthday as well. Why? Just why would they lie to us? They could have sat us down and told us the truth. Because they are cowards Lenny. They didn't care. They never did. That's why they vanished. They didn't disappear. They ran away. Because they didn't want to tell us the truth. Get everyone to our room now. Emergency sibling meeting begins in two. Oh, I will. I'm getting really worried. Why on earth did Lori just run in here and race upstairs? I'm scared. Me too, Lisa. Me too. What's going on? Whoa, Lenai, is that you? Yes, it is. Emergency meeting begins in two minutes. All of you head to our room at once. Now get going.
Lenny is angry. She never gets angry. All right, I'm officially scared. Lynn emergency sibling meeting. Get to our room right now. What? Why? What's going on? Lenai, Lenai. Okay, Lenai is angry. That never happens. Now things are getting scary. Something bad must have really happened. I better get going right now. Oh no, Mr. Teddy. You cannot have any more tea right now, as you had already two cups full. And I think two cups is enough. Don't you dare raise your voice at me. I'm doing this for your own good. If you drink any more tea, you will only turn into a teacup. Oh, who am I kidding? Without my linky here, this is not fun at all. I just hope my plan works. Otherwise, we could lose him forever to that jerk Ronnie and never. I will never let it happen. Ever. Lola emergency meeting. Get your butt to our room right now. Whoa, Leany, what happened to you? Did you eat out of Lori's cereal box? I've never seen you angry before. That's not important. Just get to our room. On the double. What's going on? What's this all about, Lori? Yeah, what's the emergency? This is more than just an emergency, Luna. In fact, this is actually a terrible moment in our family. What? What do you mean? I'm saying that I now know the truth on why mom and dad chose to leave us hanging last year. And also I just discovered something terrible in a hidden room in our house. Wait, you mean you know why mom and dad disappeared? And what did you discover that was so terrible? If you want to know the truth on why mom and dad abandoned us, it is not because they were in trouble with anyone in Royal Woods, it is because they lied to us. All of us. What? Why would you say something like that, Lori? Yeah. Mom and Dad would never lie to us. I agree. There has to be another reason on why they would just leave us in Royal Woods last year. Oh, there's a reason, and you will hear for yourself. Money's got it right, Lucy. There was indeed a reason on why Mom and Dad left us. That is where the horrible discovery comes in. In fact, to make matters worse, it involves Lincoln. What? It involves around our Linky. Why would Lincoln be involved in Mom and Dad's vanishment? Yeah, what does my Linky have to do with any of this? Have a look for yourself. Are you kidding me? This better be a joke, Lori. What? What happened? Read this crap. Apparently Lincoln is not our brother and never was. What? No, I don't believe this. This has to be a lie. It's not, Lola. What you see are real-life adoption papers. Lincoln Loud was never our blood. That is your answer. That is the lie that Mom and Dad kept from us all this time. This can't be real. I hope to God that I am just having a nightmare. I'm sorry, Lucy, but it is the truth. Mom and Dad lied to all of us about Lincoln, and that is why they disappeared. They ran away because they didn't want to face us. I'm feeling emotions that I never felt before. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what to feel. I just have to go and lie down after hearing something like this. Yeah, good idea, Lisa. Go lie down. I think it may be good for you. So all this time, the Lincoln who we thought was our brother, was never our brother at all. I can't believe Mom and Dad would do this to us. Not only that, but instead of coming clean and taking responsibility, and telling us about it, they chose to run, and leave us all alone. I will never forgive Mom and Dad for that. Neither will I, Lola. Neither will I. I'm sorry to all of you that things ended up like this. But right now we can't let Mom and Dad's deception plague all of us. Lori is right. Lincoln is still out there. He is, and as angry as I am right now to find out this news. I don't care what a stupid paper says he is my Linky, and I will destroy anyone who will try to take him. A man to the Lenny, a man to that. We will find out what happens once we find Lincoln. Until then girls head out. I said what I wanted to say. I will let all of you know on what happens from here on out.
Sir Lori, whatever you say, I'm heading back to the Rogue City Park. I got to get some anger. Arr. Sure, and then take your time. Come on, Lily, I will take you back to your crib. I have to be alone for a while. I think I'm going to lie down in the backyard thingy again, in order to try and calm down. I think I will call Sam. I need some comfort right now. I, I have to lie down right now. Go ahead, Lola. Go lie down. And that is the whole story, Lincoln. We found out from a secret room in our house. We have no idea how we got any of those things in our new home, but we found the adoption papers in that one room, near the folder of birth certificates. We were going to tell you everything, once you returned home. But at the time we didn't know if you knew about this or not, so when I was coming, I wanted to hear what you had to say first, if it had anything to do with you being adopted. I would have told you then and there right on the spot, but now it is obvious that you never did. Wow, I can't believe Mom and Dad, or Rita and Lynn Sr. would do such a thing. Mom and Dad are nothing to me now, not after hearing your whole story Lori. How could they do this to us, especially how could they do this to both you and poor Linky? I agree, and I am not even in this family, this is messed up on so many goddamn levels. You're telling me Clyde. You don't know how much anger I felt in my heart when I found all of this out the first time. I truly think that Rita and Lynn Sir wouldn't know how to parent kids, even if it were to pop up and kick them both right upside the asses. Linky don't say words like that, it's not cute. Ha ha ha, almost like how I warned you to watch your mouth Lana, on the day you jumped into the radioactive mud puddle, ha ha ha. Oh, so it is. Ah, uh, Lincoln, good to see you're awake now. What the? Hey I know you. You're Dr. Hawkins Armstrong. The one that has been helping my sister recover from her radiation illness. You're also the one that I thanked several days ago as well. It's great to see you again, Doc. Indeed, it is great to see you too, Lincoln. I was the one who was giving you treatment when you were brought here to begin with while you were out cold. And I also have some great news on your condition. Oh thank goodness. What is the good news, Doc? The good news is, is that Lincoln is going to be fine. He has to just keep the bandages on him for one whole week, and from there on he will heal properly. The rock didn't cause that much brain damage to him, he is very lucky. You three can go home now if you choose. As for you Lana, it is time to return to the radiation unit. Sure thing Doc, see you at home soon my Linky. See you around Lana. Well, I bid you three a farewell, Link can get plenty of rest, and keep your bandages on for one week, after that you can take them off. Farewell to you all. Goodbye doctor, thanks for everything. Yo. Hello shorty, what are you doing? Nothing. Sitting here watching the game, smoking some bud. Are you all alone? What's up?